Hi all, I am Mohammad Naji Abu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be discussing how can we delete a bucket from S3, okay, AWS S3. For that, what we can do, so we can first import few lines of code or we can copy it from our previous code, okay. So let me write those code from constants import star and we can import boto3 okay now we can create a client right boto3 dot client we can mention it as s3 and we can mention aws access key id equal to aws access key id and we can mention aws secret access key as AWS secret access key okay so delete a bucket is very simple we can mention bucket name is equal to my YouTube I believe it is v1 okay this is my bucket name I can create a response object is equal to I can mention client dot delete bucket here I can mention the bucket name as bucket name print response okay so this is very simple code we can see what will what is our result we can write s3 delete bucket dot py okay I am executing this file Okay, <clears throat> this time I am getting an error, so we can carefully read this error, okay. An error occurred, no such but when calling the delete bucket operation, specified bucket does not exist, okay. This says the bucket is, does not exist. So this will be my YouTube V1, okay, let me try it again. So I'm executing again okay so this time the error is different it says an error occurred bucket not empty when calling the delete bucket operation the bucket you tried to delete is not empty okay so that is the error that we are getting okay so this is my s3 my aws s3 bucket here we can see this is the bucket that we are going to delete it has two files Okay, since the bucket is not empty, okay, it is failed to delete the bucket. So that means first we need to make sure that the bucket is empty, then only we will able to delete this bucket. Okay, so for that, what we can do, first we can list our bucket. So let me comment this code, maybe we can use it later. Okay, so hopefully, you guys may be remembering how can we list the object in a S3 bucket, right? So we can do that here. I can say that list object. This is my list object here. You can say uh, client dot list object. I can mention my bucket name. My bucket is equal to bucket name. Then I want to specify that. I want to extract the content from it. Now let me print the list object. Now let me run it again. No attribute list object be list objects I believe let me try it again okay now this is listing two key here one is book read and second one is final read good so now we can create a object list okay now we can loop through this object okay data in list object 
what we need to do we need to create a dictionary here we need to create a append here we have to mention key the key should be data dot get key okay so this is the key key should be capsulate okay so this is the key and what 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 actually we are doing here we are creating a json and we are uploading to this i mean we are appending this to object list okay so we can print this final object list so it will be very clear let me run it again okay see so this is this is our display i mean object list it has a, a key as uh, book read and uh, we have like a second one key as a final read okay fine now what we need to do we can direct so let me comment this again what we can do if this object list is not empty we can directly call response we can directly call a client dot delete function is there delete object is there okay here we can mention the bucket is equal to bucket name then we can say that action is equal to delete this is a json here we can mention the objects as this particular list object list now we can print this response okay now let me execute this one I'm going to execute this one. Okay, now response is 200. It says deleted key final read and the key book read. So we can double check this. We can go to our S3 bucket. Now let me refresh it. So this is gone. Okay, now. Maybe let me comment all those things. I can just uncomment this code. This is our old code that we used to delete the bucket. Now let me run the file again. Okay. So this says status code is 204. Okay. And it says uh, almost a retry item 0. Okay. Now let me refresh this one, YouTube one, let me refresh this. So here, when we come here, we can see that my YouTube V1 is gone, right? Currently it is showing my YouTube V12, okay? But ours was, the deleted bucket was my YouTube V1, okay? So. I think we have successfully completed this one. What we have done, we have completed, I mean we have deleted, first we have deleted the objects in the bucket, then we have deleted the bucket. Okay, so before deleting the bucket, we need to ensure that the bucket is empty. Fine. So that is all in this video. Please do like and subscribe. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.